The saints at Shofar Mountain share a common vision. Three years ago, Shofar Mountain looked like this, everywhere. But since that time, uh, saints have come out here to help us, and we have started carving community out of wilderness. That's how we refer to it. Uh, we have tried to share our progress with you, our progress in the way. You know, the way of Yeshua, the way of Jesus, uh, our worship of the Father. <clears throat> and we try to share that with you on our, on our website, shofarmountain.com. We share it with you on our YouTube channel, Shofar Mountain. And I try to give you uh, personal and, and family tips on my other channel, Viking Preparedness on YouTube, that will help you and yours uh, deal with what's coming down the pike, right? And so we have tried to help you. My, my whole goal uh, in, in these regards is to motivate you, to encourage you, to exhort you uh, to live somewhat like we are living or to try and do some of the things we are doing, whether that be our worship of the Father um, or trying to come out of her, my people, and, and get out of that rat race. You know, maybe simplify your life a little bit. And so that's what we've been trying to do for you. Um, it's not easy. It's hard. Giving up those things, uh, you know, is a sacrifice of some sort until you get used to it. And then it's like, okay, not so much of a sacrifice. So leaving here would be a sacrifice. The other day, I did a video. Uh, we had some roads. And here on Shofar Mountain, we have about, I don't know, two and a half, two and a quarter miles of roads and trails that we have built in the last few years. Uh, that the saints have come out here and built, in many cases, with hand tools, <clears throat> you know. And I did a video, we had these rains, and one of our roads washed out, and it's an important road, and the road we have to use, and we could not uh, drive vehicles down it anymore. And so we started getting after it, uh, like we do, with shovels and picks and wheelbarrows. And then one of our neighbors showed up, and uh, he had a tractor, and in about four hours, he did the work of about a hundred men. It was amazing how much work that tractor could do. And so we decided on Shofar Mountain, we really need a tractor, right? We're on many, many acres. Uh, we're trying to carve this community. We're trying to share it with other saints. We're trying to provide a place of refuge. And that all requires work in addition to, in addition to just the day-to-day -day stuff. I mean, we've got to haul humanure, right? We haul that to our orchards. Uh, we haul rock. We haul logs, building supplies, yada, yada. Um, we need to maintain our roads so that people who show up on Shofar Mountain to visit, and we have a constant stream of visitors here, uh, they don't all drive pickups and SUVs, right? And some of these roads are a bit difficult for, you know, your Toyota Corolla to show up on. <clears throat> so we need a tractor. Now our neighbor had a used tractor and it cost about $5,000. And what you did not see in the video was that that tractor broke down three times while we were filming that video and we had to stop and repair it. And so we had a little powwow here on Shofar Mountain. We think we want to spend about $10,000 to get a slightly uh, better as far as condition tractor because we do not yet know how to work on tractors. And so buying a tractor that required us to work on it, you know, the first day we got it uh, probably wouldn't be such a good idea. And we want to put a bucket on it, and we want to put a box blade on the back of it, again, so we can maintain our roads and trails. And a lot of you, over time, have been saying, hey, how can we help out? Now, I appreciate the offerings that some of you have been regularly sending to Shofar Mountain to help with the ministry. We do appreciate that. I thank you for that. I bless you for that, for blessing me. If you would like to assist Shofar Mountain Viking Preparedness, uh, you know, to continue doing what we try to do, you now have an opportunity. We are going to set up a hot button site on our shofarmountain.com site that you can go there and donate to the Shofar Mountain Tractor, right? Or you can uh, do it to our PayPal account. And our PayPal account is vikingservices at hotmail.com. And you can donate there, but please put in the note um, for the Shofar Mountain Tractor or for Tractor or something like that um, if you want to help contribute to this. We, <laughs> it's, it's cheesy, but I think it's kind of fun, too. Everybody who donates $100 or more, gives an offering of $100 or more, we're going to put your name on our tractor when we get it. And the person who donates the most is going to get to pick the name. 
of the tractor. And finally, anyone who donates $1,000 or more to the Shofar Mountain tractor, uh, we're going to send you a piece of Shofar Mountain that you can proudly display on your mantelpiece or in your garden or on your porch. It'll be a rock, right? We'll send you a rock from Shofar Mountain. But, you know, we thought that would be kind of neat and cool. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you would like to help us, we could use the help. Um, we could use the help, and we're going to use it for a tractor. And when you... Uh, contribute to the cause, we will send you an email not only thanking you, but telling you where we're at. I'm not going to post it, you know, online for everybody. You know, there's a lot of bad people out there online. But if you send us an email, I'll tell you where we're at uh, on the contributions at that point, and so you can kind of keep track. Um, but, yep, we got stuff like this to deal with, and uh, we just have a lot of work to do here. We're trying to do his work for his people, um, and again, if you'd like to help us out, please do so. All right, I'll see you out there.